Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kobe, and uh, Mig. Sheesh, this is episode number five, y'all. Um, in the last episode, we had the Mega Powers explode. We had um, Hulk Hogan going against Macho Man. We was playing as Hulk Hogan in WrestleMania 5. Man, this is WrestleMania 6, man. This is actually, yeah, between Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. So we had Hulk Hogan going against... Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage in five and six. He is going against the Ultimate Warrior himself, man. Um, this took place April 1st, 1990. WrestleMania six. Hulk Hogan looks to test himself against WWE's future, defending his WWE Championship against the Ultimate Warrior, who puts his Intercontinental Championship on the line in a showdown to determine who will lead WWE into the 90s. So we're going to see if it's going to be the Ultimate Warrior, or if it's going to be Hulk Hogan, man, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to be Hulk Hogan. I, I think we're going to be Ultimate Warrior, I believe. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm going to be actually commentating to this game. I'm not going to just let it just play out without me commentating. So, um, with all that being said, y'all, without further ado, let's do what they do and get right into the motherfucking video. Let's get it. Let's go. Now, it is going to play a clip, you know what I'm saying, for each one of these showcases. What I'm going to actually do is mute my mic, and I'm also going to put a screen of Hulk Hogan versus the Ultimate Warrior, because it has a lot of copyrighted content on here and stuff like that. The sports entertainment world could only brace for impact as Savage and Hogan battled, and when it was over, a common WrestleMania site was seen. Hulk Hogan celebrating in the ring with the WWE Championship back in his possession. And as the 1980s gave way to the 90s, around the world there was a real sense of looking for the next big thing. The newest, the coolest, the fastest, the strongest, anything to show where the future was. This was also the case in WWE. Amongst the members of the WWE universe, many saw the Ultimate Warrior as the heir apparent to the throne that Hulk Hogan had occupied for six years. The untamed superstar appeared capable of matching Hogan's strength and had dominated all other opponents. Even that loss we relived at WrestleMania 5 against Rick Rude, yeah, he avenged that just a few months later at SummerSlam, regaining the Intercontinental Championship in the process. But this talk all seemed like fantasy, only existing as a dream match. Hogan and Warrior weren't enemies, and for either of them to turn against the other would run against the strict codes of honor to which both men claimed to adhere. All of that changed in the 1990 Royal Rumble match. It was brief, but for a moment, the only two men in the ring were, you guessed it, Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. The crowd went nuts, and these two stared at each other for a minute before circling up. Two running tackles led nowhere, and then a double clothesline floored both men, ending things before they could really get started between the two. That small taste, though, was all the world of sports entertainment needed to know that they wanted more. Even more interesting, it would be Hulk Hogan who would challenge the Ultimate Warrior to a contest at WrestleMania 6. Ultimate Warrior, me and my Hulkamaniacs put the championship on the line. Hogan openly stated that he needed to know which power was truly the strongest in WWE, his or that of the Warrior. Adding to the stakes was the stipulation that both the WWE and Intercontinental Championships would be up for grabs leaving the winner with supreme claim to lead WWE into the next decade. All right, now it's your turn to try and shock all the little Hulkamaniacs out there and try to beat Hogan at WrestleMania 6. Can you harness the power of the Ultimate Warrior? There's only one way to find out. That's right. All right, let's get it. We are the Ultimate Warrior. Whoop, dodged him. All right, Hawk is ready for a fight, so bring it to him with punishing offense. Okay. So we gotta show, so we gotta taunt, we gotta do an opponent taunt, make sure we do that. I'm not gonna lie, with me playing this game too, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like um, the reversals has been kind of hard, man, especially this year, cause you actually have to time them and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy. Like if you don't get the perfect uh, reversal, then you're not gonna reverse. It's not like last year where you could just reverse no matter if you was early or slightly early. Like it was just really easy to reverse. But when you guys play this game, you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. I'm not even gonna lie. 
for somebody that played all of the wrestling games, bro, like, this is probably one of the hardest games to reverse in. You gotta just be perfect. You gotta execute every single time. See, it said late right there. Oh, Kobe ain't playing. Get off me. Ah, taunted at the wrong time. Here we go. Do it. Why do these taunts so long? I'm glad he ain't mess with me. Got him. Let's get it. Okay, we gotta grab him with the light grabble. Can do that. Let's go. What's our next objective? All right, stronghold while he's grounded. Okay, we gotta put him in a submission now. Now, some of these transitions, it is gonna be copyrighted, so you guys are gonna see the little WrestleMania 40 screen. Cause I don't wanna get copyrighted for that. Cause I won't get, be getting paid for these videos. Ah, he got me again. Hulk Hogan going crazy. Gotta put him in a submission hold. It's gotta be it right here, yup. Got me reversed it. Come on. Hulk Hogan ain't going for that shit, bro. Can't let him do a signature, bro. Got him. Okay, so front running attacks in the ring with one of your trademarks while running at an opponent. Okay, so we gotta do a front running attack. Got it. I said you guys are gonna be sending a little screen. Pretty sure the last thing anyone expected from Hogan versus Warrior was this copyrighted content right here. All the copyrighted content, I think I'm gonna have on uh, TikTok. So this will also be posted on TikTok as well. Immediately after being body slammed was such an iconic moment. But it was absolutely crazy to see them do a second crisscross. And when Warrior returned the body slam to Hogan, it hurt the Hulkster. He didn't pop up the way Warrior had. Just the difference in reactions between the body slams, you could sense that change was in the air. Seeing Hogan struggle like this wasn't something the WWE Universe was used to. After the clothesline sent him crashing to the floor, Hogan appeared to hurt his knee, the mm. last thing he needed. Ultimate Warrior was here to prove that his hype was real. Warrior was going to run right through Hogan at this pace. Got him. That was a risky taunt, especially right by him. We got to get him back in the ring. Reverse it. Ah, he got me. Ah! Bro, this dude Hulk Hogan, bro. These submissions is crazy. Couldn't even get out of that. Oh, you have to use a relentless seat. That's crazy. Otherwise, I would have got tapped out. We got this on legend difficulty. Clothesline each other, you could hear a pin drop. Now you're wondering who's gonna get up first. Is Hogan as hurt as he seems to be? Does Warrior have the gas in the tank to pull through in this moment? Remember, Hogan's had many, many championship matches, and he knows what it takes. He can use the time to get his breath back.
And then Warrior sits up. And half of the arena goes crazy, while the other half lets out a defeated groan. Ultimate Warrior looking every bit the dominant superstar, getting to his feet while Hogan stays down. The Hulkster was running out of magic. Could he find one more iconic comeback? Well, got him where he reversed that. Got him again. There it go. We gotta do three running clotheslines. This one. Oh, he got me with the knee. Here we go. Come on, Ultimate Warrior. Let's get it. Another one. One more. Okay, we gotta do a back suplex. Let's get it. And that's one thing too that I noticed too. Like you don't have a lot of stamina on here. Your stamina drains real fast. It's not like last year. Oh wow, he versed it. Ah, I reversed it too early. Damn it. Gotta kick out. Gotta kick out. Here we go. That was close. Cannot let him go for the tap out again because he will win. I mean, come on, Ultimate Warrior, get up. He reversed it. Gotta put him in the bear hug now. Standing near opponent in the ring. Pause. They were hugging another man. It's crazy. Been out muscled by opponents before, but they were usually seven feet tall or 400 plus pounds. Seeing Ultimate Warrior control Hogan in this bear hug was another one of those moments where you just knew what was coming. Hogan just could not break free from Warrior, no matter what he tried. It was a smart play by the Warrior too, able to rest himself while dealing out crushing punishment to the Hulkster. Warrior to this point had only been known for running through opponents in quick, brutal outbursts. He was showing more of a tactical side here, and it was paying off. Ultimate Warrior was showing that the moment wasn't too big for him. He wasn't trying to rush anything. With two of WWE's most popular superstars competing, the WWE Universe was divided.
And right when Hogan finally gets his chance and manages to break Warrior's grip, the referee gets flattened, and now there's no one to count falls. <clears throat> He's in trouble, but still dangerous. Time to throw him. Give him everything he does. From the top rope. Come on. From the top rope. Go here, Ultimate Warrior. That's one. Another one. That's two. Give us one more. Ultimate Warrior. One more dive. Let it splash. Got him. Keep him on the ground. Woo! One hell of a move right there. Got him again. Warrior lifted Hogan up. Things were looking perilous for the Hulkster. The Hulkamaniacs were hoping for one last gasp from Hogan. And they got it. Hogan kicking out at two. A familiar sight as Hogan begins to shrug off the attack of the Warrior, slowly getting back to his feet. You know the deal. Three big rights. The big boot. And then Hogan misses the leg drop. Hogan crashes hard to the mat. Now it was just up to the ultimate war. Still got a fighting chance. Destiny. Could oh, he yeah. defeat Hulk Hogan? One. Let's get it. That's two. End it. Come on, ref. Why are you taking so long? Okay. We kicked out. You didn't hear all her clothing. Go in the ring. Come on. Come on, Ultimate Warrior. Do your thing. Got him. Drag him. So he don't get that rope break. One more splash should do it. Let it splash. Let it splash. One. Two. Three, let's get it. He did it. Took Hulk Hogan down. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Is your WWE oh yeah, look at them titles. The Man, undisputed champion right there. Sheesh. We did it, y'all. That was one hell of a fight. Got the job done. Ultimate Warrior, man. Sheesh. Victorious at WrestleMania 6. Gotta love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys like to commentate, now I understand. If you guys hear the sound in the background and it's annoying, just let me know. Comment down below. But, uh, yeah, I think, like I said again, I might just start commentating throughout the showcase and stuff like that. But it seems like we got 
So this was WrestleMania 6. This is going to be WrestleMania 8. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Like I said, again, we will see y'all boys when we see y'all boys, man. Peace. Sheesh.